guys, check out the description down below for a promo code for 20% off of this active 10 inch underseat subwoofer. But you gotta be quick because it's gonna end soon. All right, so 40% off of an already budget-minded amplifier is pretty crazy. But when you purchase an amplifier, you usually have the hidden expense of actually having to get an amplifier installation kit, meaning the wires and everything to actually connect the amplifier into your vehicle. With this, you don't have to worry because they have literally everything that you will need to install it the day that it arrives on your doorstep. So, I mean, this thing is a stout, aluminum cased, completely aluminum cased, uh, I will put the dimensions up on the screen, subwoofer. It's probably one of the smaller ones that I've seen. If you have a tight space underneath your seat, chances are this is going to be one of the only ones that's going to fit under there. It's also illuminated around the rim of the cone, the main driver there, and it also has an app that you can hook up to your phone and you can actually change the colors. Kind of like that power acoustic that I reviewed, this kind of reminds me a lot of that. But alright, let's go ahead and look at some of the features and some of the added accessories that come with the Wanbon. Alright, so a quick peek at the side reveals, it seems to be 8 gauge inputs for your power, your ground and remote wires. Up from there we have what looks like to be a 15 amp fuse, it's blue, and you do have two different forms of inputs. You actually have your RCAs for your low-level inputs, but they do include high-level inputs, which means you basically just have to hook your two rear uh, speaker wires up to this, and then that will give you your input. From there, we have an included base knob, which actually does have the telephone style connector, meaning that it locks in there, which is very nice. From there, it looks like we have a 50 to 150 low pass filter, and then we have a zero to 24 dB bass boost, and then your gain or your level control next to that. It also has a zero to 180 phase shift, and an auto power on switch, which is pretty cool. We're gonna have to check that out. And then a green power LED, and it also does have a red protect LED, so it's always good to know when it's going into protect. So, all right, I'm, uh, I'm actually really liking this. I'm looking forward to it. Let's go ahead, let's hook it up in the truck real quick, and uh, let's further review it, hear how it sounds, and uh, let's beat the shit out of it. All right, so here we are out in the truck. I love it when a plan comes together, because what I'm going to do is actually take this, is the old connector for my J10ASB, and it has two separate wires coming off for the power, the ground, and the remote. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna snip one of these wires off of each one, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and use that. And then after I'm done using that, this is just for, you know, testing. After I'm done doing that, just tape them off and uh, then I will have kind of some test ports coming off of that. So that's pretty cool. Right. Now our ground. There we go. For some reason, I don't have a remote hooked up and it turned on. That's quite odd. Oh, because auto power on was on. I bet you that's what that's for. Okay, so I almost forgot to show. This is the actual uh, base knob. And I've got this ran back here so I can kind of test it out. Might as well plug it in. Okay. okay, so it turns out I did have to hook the remote up. I don't know why I thought I wouldn't have to, but I have Hustlin' from Nefix queued up, like always, and I have my bass knob here, and uh, let's go ahead, let's see how it sounds. Oh, I can hear it. Hey, I got something, something okay. to Okay, yeah, that uh, 
I'm not even gonna lie, and I'm not just saying this. This sounds better than that Jensen J10 ASB all day long. This sounds actually very good. This sounds better than the power acoustic one. There is no noise coming from it. Uh, that power acoustic was very, very loud. And uh, yeah, this is just kind of stunting mode right here. Yeah, I don't know what I need that for, but I need it for something. All right, so let's check out this app right here. Oh, this is just too good. So my phone's broken and I can't really use anything above the screen from like above that line. But anyways, it's called Lotus Lantern right there. And um, it's actually really cool. I can't actually get it to connect right now. But uh, basically this is just a slider wheel and you can slide this and I wish I could demonstrate it for you, but it will change the uh, colors of that light there. So that's pretty cool. So I guess there's only one thing. Let's go ahead and shut everything off. And for some reason, I don't know if it's uh, the auto shut off or what, but this is not shutting off. All right, so I'm finding something very interesting here. You'll see there's a red light on. I'm pretty sure that means, see we don't have a, green, or a blue light on there. It's not green. Even though it says it's green, it's actually blue. Anyways, I think that's what it means when it's off, which is weird because that's going to be a draw. Um, so I started looking around and I'm like, well, how would this still be on? I have the negative cable off of it, but check this out. So I don't know how, because the input I don't think is going to be connected. Well, I guess ground. Yeah. Referenced to ground. Okay. Well, that's what is going on. It's keeping my amp on somehow. Weird, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. But, I mean, for what it's worth, uh, this thing sounds absolutely great. Well, now this is not an actual installation video. As you can tell, I kind of glazed over it. But um, come back next week, go ahead and subscribe. You'll be able to get notified for it. And I'm gonna run through a whole entire deep detailed installation uh, on this Juan Von Underseat subwoofer. Basically a how-to on how to install a subwoofer like this under your seat.